Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lung Pamai, and in this video, I'll show you how to work with ink controls using VBA. There are two types of controls, which are ink edit and ink picture, which enables you to easily add ink and uh, handwriting recognition to your projects or applications. Uh, the ink edit controls has uh, manage, activex, and 32-bit versions, while the ink picture has um, only the manage uh, ink picture and activex versions. We are going to be looking at the activex versions. Uh, the main two difference between these two controls are that uh, the ink edit controls save ink as text by default, and then the the picture saves ink as an ink data yeah okay so before we begin if you haven't please do not forget to subscribe and leave a like to support the channel also to improve the algorithms for the channel thanks okay let me add a new workbook um, in case you've never worked with ink controls you can enable the draw tab by going to your customized ribbon and just check this box okay and then you should be able to see this ribbon tab here um, so very simple before we move on to the user form, you can select, uh, you know, like the pen, the highlighter, you can customize it as well by going here. You can change the color, the size and everything, yeah? And the effect. So once you have that selected, um, for example, you can choose to draw. And then for example, you, you just maybe take its signature that becomes, um, that, that once you hit escape it becomes part of the image yeah and the picture again is saved as ink data and then um, for example you can also add more pen you can erase uh, for example you can erase it like this if you have uh, drawn something you can also for example select like this and delete it as well okay um, and then for example this this one is different color similarly smaller in size yeah this one is for highlighting and so on um you can also insert um uh, so once you're done hit escape to get out of that mode and then once you are here for example you can insert a math as well for example um y is equal to um n plus one to the power of two and then maybe divided by two so once you have something like this you can insert uh which is very useful to represent yeah and then uh that's pretty much uh here that i want to show um so let's go quickly to word document as well you can go here and insert something like this a signature yeah um for example by going here insert activex controls uh, you can scroll down and find this. There's two. One is the ink edit and then one is the picture. So the one I have here is uh, art pictures. Okay. Um, and the way you utilize it in your VBA is same. So uh, whatever I demonstrate in Excel is going to be, uh, you can use that as well in Word document. Okay. Okay. Let me just save this uh, ink version one. And let's start working with the user form now. I'm gonna insert a new user form. Okay, here, uh, in case you don't see this, uh, these controls, what you can do is first you can, you know, like bring this toolbox, you can go here and find the toolbox from here as well. And right click on this toolbox, additional controls and find Microsoft uh, Ink Edit and Ink Picture. After that, click on okay. You should be able to see these two new controls. First, let's start with ink um, added. Yeah. By default, it has this text. You can remove that in case you want to use this as a text box. Um, the font, uh, we can increase a bit, maybe bold. We can access all this from the code as well. Okay. So, for example, like this. All right. Now, let's bring in one button. Or we can just have this loaded in initializer but in case you know like if there are beginners following let me put a button so when this button is clicked it will add a text here and color it and so on so let's say uh ink added one dot text equal to hello world okay now let's say that you want to highlight this first part second part with a different color you can do so um, 
dot select start maybe from zero and then dot uh, select land so basically we are telling the code to select like this and then put a color to it and then dot select color is equal to maybe green you can put an rgb as well yeah so this part is different color now uh, we can replicate this block quickly so starting from maybe six or seven until we can get the len as well using the len function but let me just put it like this maybe blue okay so that's how you can uh, set um, you know I write uh, put a text uh, we'll go you know like more advanced um, so for example this is write if you have to read you can simply um, use message box you can write this value as well to your workbook so in case you do that you are going to refer in this um, ink edit one dot text there are more properties as you can see uh here control tip source uh there are so many of them that you can you know manipulate we'll touch based on more of those okay so f5 hello world uh it returns the value so i'm going to change this to read and let's bring it up here for now Okay, um, let me save this. Da -da. Now I'm gonna add uh, another one. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to copy, you know, like uh, cell or range or objects from your Excel sheet and then have it populated here, having all the colors and all this intact. Yeah. Um, so let me bring another edit box again as a demonstration. I'm gonna leave everything as default. I'll just get rid of this text. All right. Um, da, da, okay, I want to save this as micro enabled. And let me add one more button for demonstration. Now, before we begin uh, this, we will reuse the API that we use for our VB code automation. So I'm going to leave the link for this blog. Just go and copy this entire code. We just need to use uh, set to clipboard and um, we want to use this base to object. Okay, um, so copy this and bring it, insert it in module, module. And for this one, we want to use it from the user form as well. So we'll make it to public. And this one as well for, okay. Now, uh, once you have this, again, we'll we just need this um, use. So going back to user form, uh, let's say um, populate, for example, um, ink added. So first, let's uh, copy this demo from here to, you know, like to the edit box. Okay, all these objects. Uh, let's start with a uh, range. So let's say that we have a range here uh, again. Hello world, something like that. Or I think we can reuse some of this um, because our edit box uh, ink edit is a white ink color. So maybe we can add something like this as an example. First, let's add this um, something which is not maybe all these are white fonts so i'm <laughs> just trying to get a good example but anyways let's say that this is black in color and the black is like this um so i'll say um range whatever the range is select date or here it goes your cell address okay and dot copy um and then we'll use paste this and then we'll paste this to our ink add it to dot and then we'll get the handle mm, and then we want to clear the 
clipboard okay so let's give it a try um f5 yeah so here comes our you can also write here which i'll demonstrate just in a bit um okay so that's how you can populate uh, the cell in case you have to copy the entire range um for example uh, we can reuse set to clipboard as well here so for example set to clipboard equal to um, range example and let's say that we want to copy um, this range from b2 until b6 yeah so b2 to b6 and then uh, we want to paste this i'm just setting a text that we we are setting this to clipboard for example if i put this and run this code uh it's there in the clipboard now like this yeah so i'm putting it to clipboard and then we are pasting it into our control next i'm copying the range and then pasting it again okay so let's try okay so it put this and then next it says range example maybe we can use um, da, 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 here maybe a new line let's see if this works if we want to have this in a new line okay so this works um okay so that's example of range first is a cell the range and then range copied here now let's say we want to copy um let's say we want to copy a table let me just quickly put a table here ran between this to this okay and Maybe something like that and this table name is table 2 so we will just use the list object method together um, so here I uh, will say active sheet dot list object And then our table dot copy. Uh, and this should just give me a moment. Um, this object dot okay, we cannot directly copy the table, so we have to do the range. Yeah, so the table is there. Um, maybe we can just put this example here. Table. Okay, so now we cannot see the table. We can add the scroll bar here as well. Uh, where is the scroll bar? Maybe vertical. Okay. So um, I really do not encourage doing a dashboard and all in the user form, but if you have to populate something colorful, um, I think this will be the easiest way other, rather than exporting it to the directory and bringing it back in the user form on runtime. I think this will be the faster way to do it. Okay, so now um, we can also put a chart. So let's get the name of this chart. Let's say, we want to bring this one. Um, the name of this chart is this. I'm gonna copy this. Um, okay, going back to our code. Now this one is gonna be chart. These are basically just putting like a header so that we can 
refer to it and this one is going to be instead of um, list subject it's going to be chart objects um just give me one second okay I forgot to remove this that was for table okay so here comes our chart um so single cell range stable uh, chart we can also um directly copy range and then we can paste it as um, a snapshot so in uh, for example like uh, here we did a range right uh, we can simply replicate this part uh, range to uh, picture I would say and then here um, dot copy picture we can use this method and now if I run this there is this but this is uh, a snapshot okay other than that if you look here you can still edit this data here if you see similarly this ones that we pasted can be edited yeah but the one that is pasted here down a snapshot we cannot edit that okay becomes uh, a snapshot picture okay so that will be um, for example um, if you have to you know copy the data from Excel and populate that in your um, into your incadded control okay so for example now let's say that we want to have uh, uh, if you want to have the to enable uh, the mouse input you can set that up as well so um, and then we can enable this here we'll just say um, ink edit control one two dot um, use mouse for input equal to true okay so let me populate this first and let's say that we want to populate something here um, we can write here for example um, hello let's give it a moment and then here comes our hello it's uh, white in color so we can't see it uh, maybe we can try and insert here uh, so I'll select this and I'll say 1000 yeah so that's how you can do it as well you can change the mode of insert as well but uh, for now that part I'll just leave it because it's very simple um, I think now we can move to the picture um, for picture I'm gonna insert a new um, in picture I'll insert a new one and bring back the toolbox and I'm gonna insert this ink just make it smaller like this okay and then I'm gonna load it up so once you load it up you are able to draw uh, anything here yeah um, so in case you have to um, change the mode that you want to do certain things here um, let me just maybe insert a frame maybe here for example and we'll have uh, option buttons so that we can do you know like some change the mode of the you know the picture so let's say this one is to draw um, or basically yeah and then this one is to delete like the one we saw there yeah and this one is to select let's keep it simple um, so first one will be uh, ink picture one dot um, edit mode is equal to uh, first is ink and then second one is delete and third one is to select okay so if I 
do this now and say delete i can drop it if i draw i can say select and then delete it something like that yeah now i'll show you as well how to uh, read the ink data for this export then export this as a picture somewhere else in case you are taking this as a signature in your uh in your project you might want to save this data uh in like uh the ink data or you might want to export this as a picture so i'll quickly demonstrate that as well um uh da, 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 in, okay in case we want to clear this we can do that as well or we can have a button for that let's say clear something like that i'm not gonna spend too much time to make this look good i'll just um, demonstrate this only okay so this um dot uh, ink dot delete strokes uh, no delete strokes. um why is strokes give me one second looks like there's some memory problem let me save this as a new file just in case it crashes okay uh, I think I just need to repaint the form. Me dot repaint. Okay, so it clears the form now. Okay, so draw, um, delete, and select. Yeah. Um, now you can also change. Um, the color uh basically you can change the attribute of this i'll quickly demonstrate that as well uh put the new button here let's say um i'll just call this attribute attribute set or something like that now for this um dot default attributes dot color let's say we want to set a color uh we can set this to um let's say red again we'll we can use the rgb you can use the other color codes as well so if i run this now it's black if i set the attributes become red yeah um so yeah you can use rgb and then here you can put our uh, red green and blue combinations okay for example something like that um and then let's continue this dot attribute dot uh we, you can set the width and the height of the you know like uh, the pen as well so for example let's say i want to make it bigger the height as well so normal uh, by default and then if i set the attribute it becomes bigger yeah um again if i want to set this to blue uh you can see blue okay uh you can also reduce it a lot yeah um what else can we do uh okay you can set the uh pen tip type as well okay uh using this um i think we can just reuse this block da, da, da. let me just get rid of this let's say this pen tip we want it to be uh one is rectangle and then i'm just gonna type half and then the other one would be ball pen tip equal to rectangle and then if we click on this we want to set the pen tip equal to ball yeah so draw uh, 
rectangle here yeah? and then ball setting the attributes i think we can make the attributes a bigger so that we are able to see it i'm sorry as you can see it's it has turned into rectangle box yeah and then i've set this become ball okay all right um now uh just give me one second let's say that um you can also uh, simply use the you know like uh, set the high contrast uh, you can also take care of the pressure uh pen pressure and all this okay so you can just uh, access that from the properties now in case you want to export this um you know like uh the picture uh in the control to your worksheet we can also do that and then we can also export it to a directory so let me first demonstrate how to do this uh in the into this particular worksheet let's say that we want to export it here okay p2 uh, let me copy this and we'll say export to worksheet and then second one we'll do export to directory and maybe we'll do another example where we read uh, ink and then we also populate a new picture uh, using ink yeah so we'll do that example as well uh, so first export to this um, to the worksheet okay um so we'll say ink picture one dot ink dot copy to clipboard uh clipboard copy okay so we'll basically copying it and now we'll say our range p1 just we'll select range p1 b2 sorry and then we'll paste it there Sheet paste. and then once we paste then we will automatically have the image selected now we can say that the uh, image basically is going to be the shape we'll say uh, set image equal to whatever was pasted at that time and then um, we can set the width the height and all this uh, using this object once it's pasted so with this image dot top equal to 100 something like that and dot uh, left equal to 100 okay so let's try this first um so let's say that this is some signature Mm, export to sheet yeah so that is how you can do it it's quite simple um, say okay um, now let's say that you want to export this to a directory uh, we have done this example um, a similar example I think in PowerPoint as well and uh, in our progress bar in UI and UX series so but I'll quickly demonstrate this one as well uh, so for this we are gonna um, transfer the data in bytes and then we are gonna save this there um, to our directory so let's call this uh, image data as uh, image data is gonna be in array okay um, as byte and then um, first again we will use this image we just have one image now so okay um, so image data is equal to this dot um, in dot save and then here we're gonna just save it as gif 
um, you can set a default maximum compression it's up to you I'll just set this default and then um, now we will open the file we want to save the data to so let's say that uh, we want to save the data to um, this workbook.pot and then we want to save it with the name let's say this one dot gif file pod is equal to this and then we'll just say file pod is string um so now we will open this file um open this file pod as um to write so this and then for binary um da, 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 for binary and then access write as okay this is for input and then we will use put command and we will write it here um the data okay in the first row we are going to paste it basically and then we are going to close so this should do we are basically extracting our data um the in picture data storing it here in bytes and then we are writing it to this file yeah this is a placeholder file name okay now let's give it a try um just gonna do a random signature and export the directory okay so this is the file that we just um exported okay so going back to our form um that is uh you know like a simple way to basically export the metadata um the now we can also um let's say that we have uh image control um and you want to load whatever you do here you want to transfer it here um da, da, okay let me just copy this get picture i'll just say like this and once we click on this button we want to get whatever we drew here into this image control we can reuse this code basically we are gonna load this after it's exported um da, da, da. i think we don't need to rewrite this we can just have this export first and then we will use this path to uh read it back here yeah so um once that is exported we have the path okay and um let me just reuse this and then we will say that this image is image one so we'll come back here so image one dot uh, picture is equal to we've done a lot of this in ui and ux series load picture and then here we'll just pass our file name so which is file path in case um, this should not be needed but um, so i'll just say hello and we'll first export and then we'll get this here yeah so that's how you can put them together if you have to do it on runtime okay so that's how you can move from your um picture control to your image control okay if i set this bigger i think that will make more sense export the directory and get an image okay um if i do oh uh, yeah we can now uh coming to the last part i will quickly do um example of if you have to read the data like we did uh now for uh 
exporting it. Let's say we want to read this. Uh, we want to store it maybe in the database, the data of signature, and then we want to read it back uh, from the database after pulling it. So the way to do it will be, I'll just do it in here only. I'll read this and I'll populate it here, okay? Um, da -da. This, this one is not needed because we, I think, yeah, I'll just do it in one. Um, read and read ink and create new uh, picture, yeah? Okay, so now uh, what we'll do is um, da, 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 just give me a moment. Okay, so we will again um, dim, let's say, image data as we'll start it again in bytes as uh, byte and then um, image data. Is it going to be um, dot ink dot save? Okay, that will be it here. And then um, now we need to get a new ink this uh, dispatcher. Um, we'll call this new ink as new um, ink. And then um, here we're gonna load the ink data dot uh, load, and then the data is gonna be our image data here that we just got created. And once we have this, um, we'll bring in image two, picture two, sorry dot uh, ink. We'll first clear delete strokes the same thing that we did earlier and then um, we'll first disable okay dot um, that uh, enables both and then within this we will set um ink New ink. Okay, I think that should do it. So um, let's say that you have stored this in the database, and this picture is pulling the data from there and populating it here. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty simple, but it's going to be very useful if you have to incorporate uh, signatures, in, maybe in your Word access database, uh, you know, like front end or you know. Um, any of those so this is going to be useful okay that's going to be all for this video i hope you found it informative if so do not forget to leave a like and comment as well and i will really appreciate if you can share the videos as uh, you guys have always done uh, supporting the channel so thank you so much and have a great day Bye bye